From Facebook's rebranding to the ongoing craze over NFTs, it seems like everyone's talking about the metaverse these days. Some people dismiss it as the latest fad, while others think it's the next evolution in human interaction. But what actually is the metaverse, and will it really change everything as we know it? Let's start with the term itself. Metaverse was first coined by author Neil Stevenson in his 1992 science fiction novel, Snow Crash. Stevenson depicts a not so distant future where people use 3D avatars of themselves to live out their lives in a virtual domain. Stevenson didn't invent the idea, nor was he the last science fiction creator to speculate on the concept of the metaverse. Some of the best visual examples of what the metaverse could look like can be seen in movies like Ready Player One and Ralph Breaks the Internet. Both of these films give the audience a glimpse of the internet as a virtual city, a digital world you can walk inside. So what's the difference between the metaverse and the internet as it exists right now? The internet is currently a two-dimensional experience, with users browsing web pages and streaming content to a variety of screens. The metaverse will likely be the next evolution of that experience, an immersive world powered by virtual reality technologies that allow users to participate and have ownership in the internet in a more meaningful and connected way. While a VR headset doesn't define the metaverse, advances in VR technology have certainly helped us realize the possibilities, with companies like Microsoft and Oculus bringing relatively affordable VR to consumers across the globe. According to CNBC, as of 2020, there are 26 million VR headsets in the hands of consumers worldwide. Even AR has become mainstream. Many smartphones use the technology to give their consumers a 3D experience through apps like Pokemon Go, Snapchat, and House. But VR and AR aren't the only components of the metaverse. One of its core functions is to be an open world where users feel empowered to shape their own experiences and have ownership of their digital data. One example of how this could look is Decentraland, a decentralized blockchain-based virtual world which provides its users the tools to build out and live in a digital city. A not-for-profit organization, Decentraland has worked with companies like Coca-Cola, Domino's, and Atari to help them establish their presence in the metaverse. Every user who owns real estate, names, currency, or wearables in Decentraland actually has a say in how the virtual world is run. Similarly, companies like Sandbox, Star Atlas, and Somnium Space are also creating digital worlds where users can build out cities, shops, games, and turn virtual money into real-world value through NFTs. Recently, Decentraland hosted a first-of-its-kind four-day music festival with over 80 artists, including Paris Hilton and Dead Mouse performing live via avatars on virtual stages. The video game Fortnite has helped to popularize virtual concerts, hosting big names like Ariana Grande and Marshmello for in-game events. And Justin Bieber partnered with Wave for a recent concert where fans watching at home could actually interact with him in real time. The metaverse is also set to reshape retail, with companies offering AR and VR versions of their stores, simulations of their products, and even digital copies for their shoppers' avatars. Take for example Roblox, a video game platform founded in 2004, which has made giant moves in the retail arena. They partnered with Vans to create a virtual skate park and with Gucci for the Gucci Garden, where users can purchase clothing and accessories for their avatars. Even Chipotle has jumped on board, opening a store in Roblox where people can dine in-game and receive a coupon for a free burrito in real life. Etsy recently made their first moves into the metaverse with the Etsy House, a virtual home curated with items from Etsy's top stores where users can walk through and shop. Beauty Counter and Klarna partnered to offer Better Beauty, a live stream series aimed at blending in-store and online shopping experiences. Research done by Coresight shows that live stream shopping will be a $25 billion industry by 2023. That's no small number. And with the metaverse creating a more even playing field for small and large brands alike, companies are gonna have to push the limits of their creativity to keep the attention and engagement of their new customers. And of course, as virtual shopping grows, consumers will need a place to show off their avatars fresh fits. As shifts towards remote and hybrid work have taken over, we all realize that Zoom has its limitations. Companies and classrooms have started thinking about better ways to facilitate collaboration and engagement from beyond the confines of a physical space. Through the use of VR headsets and powerful innovative software, users from across the globe can meet together in real time and experience a more accessible, hands-on collaboration and learning. Fully realized, the metaverse would create a level of global connectivity that we've never experienced before. And while reaching that full potential is still years away, the building blocks are being put into place now, and there couldn't be a better time to jump in and make your mark. 
We're sailing uncharted waters here, which may seem daunting to some, but like the internet before it, the metaverse is coming, and quickly. So put on your best digital Gucci, grab a virtual concert ticket, and meet us in the metaverse.